is very warm outside. <laughs> we got donuts. We did get donuts and we already ate like most of them. We've been here for a while. We ran into some of our other friends and we honestly have just been chatting for like two hours, just catching up. She talks way too much. You! Just, yeah, I talk a lot. You talk way too much. So we topped ourselves into being hungry. I'm sorry for the sun. It's extremely sunny outside. And I think we're gonna get some food. I don't know what we're thinking. Chicken quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla. And there's lots of stuff at this fall festival that we still need to check out. The live music has stopped for the time being, so it's a good time to vlog and say hi to Sarah. Sarah, show them your belly. Oh, my baby. Next time you see her, there'll be a baby in her arms, and I'm just so excited. I can't say when, it's a secret, but yeah. So we're at the fall festival, it's going well. We got these really cool reusable cups. They have these blueberry lemonade wine slushies. Highly recommend, this was my second one. Yours is gone? Oh my god, yeah, it was so good. Time for more. Super, super good. We got, I think, the buffalo chicken quesadilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that looks so good. The buffalo chicken quesadilla. The big reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Oh, it came with french fries. Ooh, That's a surprise to all of us. Vlog section. How is it? Delicious. It's really good. We'll we'll definitely buy it again. So it's the really chicken good. is buffalo and then you got more buffalo to dip it in. Yep. Like your style. <laughs> like your style. We got some feed to feed them. Hello. This cow is my best friend. He's licking my hand. Thank you for those sweet kisses. This is me eating a Yasso bar at 11 o'clock at night right before I go to bed. Well, this is quite interesting. I've never seen one of these before. Me either. It's just like this bubble in the ground, I guess, and it says that you must be physically fit. Like, okay. What the heck is this? It seems to be quite the hit. They also have this fun little like obstacle course for kids with like big tractor tires, swings, and then this like tunnel you crawl through, but I imagine that it would be extremely hot to crawl through that big black tunnel. No, they don't. Just in case anyone was wondering what they're doing for COVID safety here at Southern Hills Blueberry Farms, they are requiring face masks when you can't socially distance and then there's hand sanitizer everywhere. This is so cute. There's little painted signs everywhere. You can tell that they definitely put a lot of love and care into the farm. And then this huge pumpkin patch. I feel like they have a lot more pumpkins now than when we came last time. Look, Sarah, corn. Sarah's favorite. My Midwestern heart. See, I think those light lemons are the squirrels. Should we have the corn pit debate again? Comment <laughs> below. Comment below. Corn kernel pit. Comment below if you've ever been in a pit of corn kernels. That's weirdo stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture so that you can see, but it's like some weird, I wanna say it's a weird Midwestern thing, but he's never heard of it. Maybe it's just Illinois. But aren't you from there? Yeah, but your parents are. They I had a, sh a shelter child for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like one of the bubble ball pits from McDonald's corn? Yeah, it's like the Hoosier. It's literally just filled with like these tiny hard corn kernels. It's so fun. I'm over it. It's great. We're heading out. It's so, I'm exhausted from the heat, honestly. <laughs> it's a bit toasty. It was a brutal four hours. Yeah. yeah. Woo. And honestly, we just spent most of it just standing around talking. <laughs> so, it went pretty well. This festival is super fun. It's reminds me a lot of like something that you would find up north, except oh it's God, extremely, that. excruciatingly hot outside. Right. Is it something like you'd find in the Midwest? Yeah, for sure. And then, did you explain how like we paid ahead of time? No, I didn't. So typically, you like pay when you get here, like for the parking. But this year, they had it where you buy a ticket in advance, and that covers your parking. That way, they can control how many people are coming in. And today was actually sold out, but I didn't feel like the crowds were that bad. I wasn't overwhelmed by it at all. Everyone had like a different time that they could come in, but you can stay as long as you want once you come. So I think it kind of just like staggers the amount of people and when they're coming in. So I felt like it was good. We saw some friends while we were here. 
This is like kind of the only thing like this in the area. It's like a really popular event that they have every fall. Sarah, this is like our last big thing before you have a baby. I, I can't even believe it. Crazy. And then you got you got to take care of my dog baby while I'm taking care of this baby. So that might be a hint, wink, wink, when you see if I post Eve on Instagram. Keep checking my Instagram. You might see some puppy party, and then that might give you an inkling of what's going on since they haven't given like an official date. So maybe just watch my Instagram if you want a little hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Somebody left us two flowers on our car. That was nice. Here they have the sunflowers that you can cut yourself and somebody left us two on my car. Later. We are home, well, oh, now we're in the car. <sighs> we are on the hunt for some food. Ooh, that's cute. That is so cute. Hang on, I wanna show you. They have this really awesome pumpkin and then this like archway. That's so fun. It's definitely not like tall enough for someone to actually walk through, but it's really cute. The children! Ooh, what's that down there? I'm right down there too. Oh, I guess this, we were gonna go get food, but I guess we're just gonna look at people's Halloween decorations, which I'm also okay with because that's super fun. Um, we're gonna try to find something to eat. Ooh. Honestly, it's hard, like, where I live, there's like not really that many restaurants. Like there's plans for them, but like none of them have been built yet and they've been being planned for like years. So we're I really- planning the plans. Yeah, we're planning to make the plans. We're gonna phase them in, phase them out. We are planning on a safe return. We have plans in the works. We have plans to make plans. And then we're gonna phase out the plans once we make the plans. And then we'll plan on making the phases. We plan on having multiple phases. We'll sort of phase them out, phase them in. We're trying to be clear. It's sort of, it's a multi-phase plan. There'll be phase one and then phase two. We can't answer any specific questions. If it goes according to plans, they'll be ready to be phased. I wouldn't plan on, the plans are, we're working on the plan. That was my absolute favorite TikTok at the beginning of quarantine, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. What? I don't like the lighting. Oh, he's a vlogger all of a sudden. Where are we? Chick fil A. We were gonna get one chicken sandwich and then see how we feel. And then we almost broke up because one of us likes chicken sandwiches with pickles and one of us is sane. So we had to get two Ooh, sandwiches. Which one of us? Me, because I don't oh, like pickles. What? No. <laughs> no. She's like, we can't. Like, I can't eat a sandwich with pickles. And I'm like, I can't eat a sandwich without pickles. She was like, all right, we need to break up then. And I was like, or just get two sandwiches. We didn't even get french fries or anything. We just were like, we're just gonna get a chicken sandwich and some water and see how we feel, so. Cause the only thing we actually felt like right now was the chicken sandwich. Like we talked about nine restaurants on the way here and we're just like, why don't we just start with a chicken sandwich that had the dilemma of the pickles. So that's where we're starting. We may end up somewhere else. He was like, let's get chicken sandwiches and then get Chipotle bowls. And I was like, all right, let's just start with the chicken sandwiches and see this where we end up. This buy the restaurant. Whoa, like their, their red lights are so red. Like the lighting here at Chick-fil-A honestly isn't that bad, but their red headlights. Headlights? Not doing taillights. <laughs> are not doing bits for me. That's very nice of them. No, no. Pickles. Still no pickles. This is really exciting mm. because I haven't really had Chick-fil-A that many times because we don't really have it up north. And so then like when I did have it, that's like kind of around the same time I stopped eating meat. So this is really exciting. It's a big deal. It's real exciting. Like I said in Boston, such a win for the household. <laughs> We're able to come to Chick-fil-A for both of us tonight. Not just me. Yeah, sometimes she has well, to settle for a salad. That's so fun. Who goes to Chick Fil A and just gets a salad? With a couple chicken? times we've come and I and you've just gotten some nuggets and I just sit here. Some nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> what sauce did you have first? Mm -hmm. The main one. Mm -hmm. This sauce. is our favorite sauce from Chick Fil A. The sweet and spicy sriracha. I wish they made Chick Fil A. If you're listening, like a buffalo ranch. Mm. Like already mixed, you know? Kind of like how some places have like mayo chip. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> how many calories is this? Probably like five, six hundred. Okay, so we were still hungry because we each only had one chicken sandwich. Like we didn't get any sides or anything. And so then we were like, oh, what else can we get? 
and uh. McDonald's got their new spicy nuggets and I haven't tried them because when we got them I wasn't eating chicken yet and I was like oh I could try the spicy nuggets from McDonald's so we went to go through the drive through but the whole thing about the spicy nuggets is that you have to get the mighty heat sauce or else like there's just no point so we ordered and then she said that they didn't have the sauce so we decided not to get the nuggets which might have been dramatic but I just feel like it's not the same like the sauce makes the nuggets they're really not that hot without the sauce the mighty heat sauce though if you like spicy is it's really so hot. good and it actually is really hot I feel like we have a really high tolerance for spicy so if you like spicy definitely check it out We've resorted to eating our horses. <laughs> Brian is making some waffles, and then we're gonna nightcap with my other two favorite men, Ben and Jerry. Oh. <laughs> you had me for a second. Yeah. We're gonna eat the Ben and Jerry's that Brian got me because I got laid off from Disney, which I knew was gonna happen. I haven't gotten the email yet, and I can always like make another video talking about it if you guys are interested. But yeah, I'm getting laid off from Disney. I'll get all the official details on the first, I believe. Um, yesterday was like when I found out officially and I was very sad and bitter. So Brian surprised me with like flowers. These flowers, I just said that like six times. And chocolate and wine and ice cream. So how can I be sad after that? But he's making some waffles and does anyone else put peanut butter on their waffles and their pancakes? Because I don't think they do. He does peanut butter and maple syrup on all of his pancakes and waffles. As long as I can remember. My grandmommy made French toast all the time and always served it with peanut butter on it. Yeah. And I just now just put it on everything. <laughs> I mean, peanut butter is delicious. Yeah. Yeah, fruit. Except for like juicy fruits or like fruity fruits, like blueberries, strawberries, no. Apples though, bananas, obviously. Anything that's like pancake waffle related. But that is gonna be it from us today. Make sure you give this video a... Thumbs up. Big thumbs up. I remember. <laughs> and hit the... Subscribe button. And we will... See you later. Bye guys.